Hi, welcome back. Oh, I'm loving this, this uh, abstract expressionism. I wouldn't say I'm free, free at last from the tyranny of landscape, or even my sort of abstract impressionist landscapes. I'm, I'm not abandoning, abandoning them, but uh, I want to roll with this with myself, with these abstract expressionist paintings. Uh, difficult to 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 sort of quantify what I'm doing at the moment. It's uh, I'm I'm not working from any plan, any vision, or anything. I'm just applying paint to to cam to to the to board, not canvas. This this is hard board, uh, which I've I've prepared with a bit of sandpaper, heavy sandpaper, and a coat of PVA glue dilute. Uh, very useful material, a uh, glue, the PVA wood glue. Dilute it, uh, you can use it as a varnish, as a, as a medium, but it, it doesn't dry slowly like a, a gel retarder. But it's a very useful thing to have. And I've, I've got to go and buy some more because I've used a couple of litres of it. Here, this, this is the stuff I, I put a bit of water in just to get the last bit out. I don't like waste. Look, PVA, PVA bond. The stuff you paint on brickwork to get plaster to stick to it and uh, stick wood together, and dilute for acrylic painting. It's acrylic. The, the paints we're using are acrylic. The great beauty of these paints is that they are fast drying. They seem to be non-toxic, or they don't, they don't have any smell, which is lovely. So I wouldn't say it was, it was better or worse than oil paint. Oil paint takes quite a time to dry, but, uh, but when I used oil paint, I, I, I was using uh, fast-drying linseed oil, alkyd resin, and Griffin titanium white, which which encourages the, co the colours to, to be touch dry in two or three hours. You could start your sky with, with the alkyd resin treated oil paint um, and then work on the foreground or building, whatever you're doing. And by the time you've, you've struggled with that lot, the sky will take more paint. It's, it's, it's a, quite an amazing thing. But the solvents are toxic. The brush cleaners and stuff that I used paraffin for or kerosene for cleaning the brushes. Kerosene with oil brushes keeps them soft, but it doesn't do your chest any good if you breathe it in too much. But using white spirit, which was the usual uh, brush cleaner, eventually the brushes get very, the bristles in the brushes get very brittle. With acrylic, it doesn't matter. You keep, keep them nice and wet. They're natural hair. Uh, they're varnish brushes. The, these are about an inch and a half now. Right. Okay. So let's put in a put in a background. What shall we have? Um, let's have a let's let's have a red red background. Uh, I'll spray I'll spray the board. I think to make it to lubricate the first coat of paint. Let's let's put that on. We can put a bit of blue in with that. No rhyme or reason. I think the mantra is movement and colour, abstraction, movement for the energy that it imparts, and the colour, good colour sense like complementary colours. If you want a green to look more green, put it near a red. That sort of thing. There's basic basic painting techniques, whether it's abstract or not. But, but you can break all the rules with, with abstract painting. It's, uh, follow the brush, that's what I do. Get a bit of black in there as well. We'll try and blend with this. Yellow. 
This is cadmium yellow, by the way. It's distinct from the yellow, the, the lemon yellow, which uh, is quite a, not, it's quite a weak colour. There's a bit of green. A bit of viridian. Look at that lovely. Movement and colour. This is just underpainting. Got a nice silver frame to put this in. I've been looking at uh, Sky Taylor, and, uh, and I think I'm sure he's a New Yorker because he's got a lovely, lovely accent. Or not actually, that's the way he speaks. It's lovely, New York, New York. Sounds like anyway to my South London here. Right, let's just put a blending in here. It's most my mistake. Could put some lights in here. Right, let's have some. Let's have some red and orange and yellow. Probably, probably lose a, lose a few subscribers doing this, but I can't help that on this, my channel. I sold my first abstract. Oh, it's got to be 25 years ago. <coughs> uh, I was doing the usual landscape stuff, and. I was in a, a, a group exhibition at uh, the fair, what was the Fairfield Halls in Croydon, London, South London. And we had all the usual paintings of seasides and Cornwall. I can't remember what I put in. And my mate and I were, were on the desk the money desk with the concert guys says, take any money that if anybody wanted to buy. Something. And in the afternoon, I did uh, my first abstract. Uh, it was oil. No, it wasn't. It was acrylic, probably acrylic, because it dried very quickly. And I loved it, and I, I drizzled some enamel, gold enamel, some silver enamel over it, and I put a price. Yeah, we're going back a bit here. 150 pounds. I put in it. We we were on the desk, and and we took a couple of extra paintings to just to dot around the exhibition to take home that evening, and after about half an hour, the concert guys were looking around I was talking to someone and my friend came up and said hey Dave 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 someone's bought a painting I thought what, what painting never for one minute thinking that anybody would buy the abstract but they did they had it under their arm now they're probably still working out what I had in my my little head but I had nothing I just was doing this and they, they loved it I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Right, I need some more yellow. Let's just clean up where that yellow was. Let me start with a nice colour. I'm only doing this one today. Well, I've done the one that's uploading at the moment. The one I did on the... So I've got a pair of uh, silver frames. Right, yellow. 
yellow. This is Galleria, this is good quality stuff. But this, the uh, yellow ochre and the white are artist quality. The, uh, the, the other colours are cheap store, store's own brand. I'll blend this in a moment, I just want to see some darks. A bit of black. Now, I don't really like that. Right, okay, let's go back to, to, to up here. Let that dry for a little bit and I'll, I'll blend it. We'll, uh, that will, I'm sure that will improve it. Just movement and colour. This brush does the, the, the stipple, and I did the last painting took a stipple, took on a stipple, and I really got carried away with it. This seems to be going nowhere at the moment, this one. So we treat this as that as an underpainting with the hope of better things to come. I quite like the top of this. It's the uh, purpley mix. Well, we've got we've got plenty of movement in that now.
bit bitchy at the moment. I'm just exploiting for that brush that's uh, sort of broken. So I'm just putting these lines in, just using, using up the paint really. She's a bigger. Sort of reflections. Move a bit up the top, I think. Well, it's not what I intended. Let's uh, see if we can change it. Make sure you clean your brushes, especially the rigger, because they're very hard to, to clean up from the acrylic. Especially when the paint gets down into the ferrule, it gets down to here, your brush will split and it'll be useless. Well, it'll be useless for me doing fine lines. I'm not sure I like that. No, I'm going to just... Let's just take all that out. If you don't like something, you just quickly take it out. And it'll give you an idea of something else to, to do. a lot of black in
Ah, now there's something interesting. Let me know. Magnus, isn't it? I'm sure some of you think I've lost my marbles. But it's making it up as you go along, really. Remember the mantra? Movement and colour. Oh, I guess I'm a darker, broody. Psycho. Well, oh, that's the one, isn't it? Wasn't it? Uh, it's got plenty of colour in it. Uh, maybe just a little bit of uh, light at the top. Let's just give that a bit of a clean that brush here. I've, I've, I flick my spare water on the floor. I've got the, the floor in my studio uh, is uh, carpeted with with uh, tough carpet tiles and I'm I've got a rug an old rug underneath my chair here uh, right let's just get a little bit of bit of light in here just cut across there Okay, that's it. Right, we'll put that in a mount, and we'll we'll have a not a mount in a in a frame. So bear with me a moment. Got my silver frame here somewhere. Where is it going? There. There. Fit. Should have checked it, shouldn't I? Okay. I'll chew a bit off of that in a minute. But it'll show. Now, there we are. It's a very, very colourful abstract. Now, as you saw, there was no rhyme or reason about any of this. It was purely made up, and the choices I made as I went along. It's just colour and movement. I don't know if it's any good, but I think there's, there's so much colour in that now. I think it's quite an exciting picture, but I hope you do. But I might be getting carried away. Anyway, have fun with your paint. Enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.